how to add user defined objects in tree set normally guys we are going to have the tree set right okay in if it's come to tree set it contains unique elements like hash it and it don't have null elements and it is non synchronized and it maintains ascending order and here we can access and retrieve the elements very fast okay normally if you are adding some string based values in the tree set there is no need of some external implementation but if it's come to the if you are adding some user dependent objects we want to do some modifications to pozo class okay i will show you what are the issues if i don't modify the pozo okay like that i will show, i will explain uh, with you i'll explain that with the some code implementation example guys so you can clearly understand it if you observe it here i have already created a pozo class employee and now let's create another class here an example okay here i will add my user defined objects into my tree set first of all let's create a reference for tree set set employee set equal to let's import this set sorry new tree set now let's do one thing let's create some objects for our employee class our employee pozo employee equal to new employee uh, id1 and let's give some name as anil and his age as 23 okay and let's add some let's create some few more uh, employee references here employee 1 and employee 2 let's change the uh, ids here like 7 and 5 let's make it as Satya and keep the as 27 if it's come to the third employee reference we can change it the name to Satish and we can just keep it as 30 now let's do one thing let's add this into our set okay set dot add e1 and set dot add e2 now let's iterate it guys sorry Let's iterate it using uh, for each loop so it would be easy for us, right? Employee dot. I don't want to um, write references like employee dot got id and all, just I want to print it using employee dot toasting. Now let's run as our Java application. If you observe here, we are getting an exception. Exception in Redmain Java dot lang dot class cast exception employee cannot be cached to java.lang.comparable here normally what we want to do means here we want to implement our pose with comparable interface okay after implementing we want to override a method here i will show you what is it it is compared to method okay we want to do this for adding user dependent objects into tree set okay and here based on your requirement you can add the logic okay normally we'll uh, compare the code using ids right normally uh, the names are not unique the age is not unique so i am using the some id to compare the log for comparing logic okay i am just copying it from here let's paste it here guys let's change it to be okay now let's try to re rerun our application okay if you observe here i not added these elements in an order i have added like one seven five okay i have added an element containing one like i have i have added a reference containing id one in the first place and the second one contains the seven and the third one contains five but here if you observe 
they are sorting right okay it means we will uh, we want to implement our poser with comparable interface and based on our requirement we want to write the code here okay as here i have only ideas the unique element i am using this logic based on your requirement the logic also modify guys okay the logic will modify it. i think so you 